Welcome to another episode of Repair Talk. My name is Jonathan. We're going to be working on the Galaxy Note 8 and how to replace that screen with frame. You are going to need a heat gun, a razor blade only at your own risk, some playing cards, an iSesimo tool is definitely required, tweezers, and a Phillips screwdriver. Now, before we get started, I do want to go ahead and point out there is a fingerprint sensor flex that is very short and very easy to nick. You do want to avoid that when you're going around with your playing cards. Now you want to get your heat gun going, get that back glass heated up, using the razor blade, create a little separation just enough to get that card in and go around. Now I did speed this up so you don't have to sit there for as long as I did. Because there are no cracks or anything in this glass, I did take my time, and this process took me about 25 minutes. I would like to go ahead and note to people who have worked on other Galaxy models in the past, Samsung has thrown us a monkey wrench. They flip the side that the board is on. So instead of it being on the left as we are used to, it is on the right. Just a little fact. Once you've cut all the adhesive and you can start to lift that back glass, do not try to remove it. Don't forget to unplug the fingerprint flex. With our back glass removed, we're going to go ahead and remove all of these screws. With that removed, we can get this plastic housing off and reveal our board. Don't forget to pull your SIM tray. If you don't, you will cause a lot of damage. Once you have that board exposed, you want to start unplugging all the flex cables, of course starting with your battery. You want to go ahead and remove both of your front facing cameras, unplug your volume flex, your LCD flex, your S Pen digitizer flex, and both of the coaxials that connect the motherboard to the charge port. Don't forget to remove the screw that is actually holding the motherboard down.
starting where the front facing cameras plug in you can gently start to lift that board up making sure that it clears the battery flex cable and the volume flex cable and of course your LCD and S pen digitizer flex cable now do not try to just yank that away because it is still connected to the frame via the charge port which is plugged in on the back side you can gently use a fingernail or a plastic pry tool to unplug that and remove that board and set it to the side Now, I do start with the air speaker here. Unfortunately, my new frame came with the air speaker and this was pointless, but it is good show for y'all because most of them are not going to come with that. Now to remove your charge port, you got to remove the screws, pull out your auxiliary port, make sure that you separate the adhesive that holds the microphone in place, then you should be able to pull it right on out. With that free and clear, you can go ahead and use a pair of flat tip tweezers to gently pry up under the vibrator motor and remove that and again set it to the side. This next flex cable houses the proximity sensor, which controls when you put the phone to your face, how the screen blacks out. It also houses the LED for the annoying Android flash and for the ambiance sensor, which controls your automatic brightness for your screen. It also has a lot to do with your cameras as well when it comes to your front facing camera at least. Now comes the fun part, removing the battery. With this one, you want to use the heat gun on the front part of the screen and heat it up to the point where you can turn it over using an iSesimo tool. And yes, iSesimo, because it has a lot of flexibility, it'll keep your battery from warping or changing shape in this process. With enough heat, enough prying, then you can slide a card under it and start to cut all that adhesive. Once you have that cut, you'll be able to go ahead and pull that battery out.
At this point, you want to make sure that everything is plugged in. Once you put these screws down and put that back glass on, that is not the time to find out that something is not working. Just go ahead and test, make sure that everything is, is in order. Once it is, you can put all those screws in, drop that back glass, and hey, don't forget the fingerprint flex.
If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, hit that subscribe button. I mean, what am I saying? Hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe. Later.